Stress Drunk. And welcome back to SNES Drunk Plays Robotrack. Whoa, where are we? Is that Mint talking? No, it's not. It's the freaking doll. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Get out of there. Yeah, we have to kill each of these to advance, so... Let's, let's go. And I leveled up to level 9. So, let's uh, apply the points accordingly and fix our robots. Or actually, first I think I should uh, replenish. And, uh, you know, I really screwed up with, the, with, with Leonard. He's really not working out for me. Um, and all I really use him for is to bring back uh, Larry when he dies. I'm just going to give two to each category, I guess. I don't know. Kind of a well-balanced robot. But I screwed up Leonard. This just isn't working. I, I need to do the opposite of what I what I thought to do here. This is just dumb. So I want to... Uh, actually, I'll keep charge the way it is. But speed? Nah, not necessary. Power? Not that necessary. Guard? Very necessary. Because the whole idea is that he needs to stay alive and withstand damage so I can bring back my other robot that's able to attack. And besides, Leonard is equipped with like a level 9 axe, and his you don't necessarily need a lot of power to do a lot of damage with that when you have a weapon like that. It's kind of a flaw in the game. It's proof that it's not that balanced, but... Um, I also wanted to mess around with some of this stuff, too. Um, like, sh I want to give uh, Leonard a shield to increase his guard even more, but I honestly don't know if you can create shield 2 or level up your shield the same way as everything else so let's find out let's spend let's recklessly spend 800 gold to make two shields and uh, make a shield 2 or uh, a shield level 2 and you can't <laughs> oh well is there any can I combine any of this stuff no I suppose that you can with the the guns no, you can't even combine the sword and the axe? That's lame. Let's try the guns. Yeah, you can do the guns. Might as well make something. Hurry it up already. There we go. It is a shot two level two. That's pretty cool. And, uh... Yeah, the problem is you, you can't go and equip it and then go come back to that screen when you level up. You're just kind of stuck there. Let's see what I got. I got a cure. And those two guys are cleared out. And they left me a repair. Good for them. Yep. Okay, creepy doll guy. Girl, whatever. Hey, it's Mint and some guy. Oh, okay. Why does this dog have his medicine? <laughs> Are you drunk? <laughs> oh, it's Flava Flavon. Yep, old people do that. Hell, young people do that. I, I'm only 32, and I'm freaking... Like, I pinched a nerve in my foot, and my left knee sucks, and my lower back sucks. It's, it's not fun getting old. Anyway, we got to use that stone that we have, equip that, and um, get the dog. This guy is eccentric enough to, to name a white dog Parsley. Anyway, just like in Link to the Past, you hit the switch and the blocks go down. You can walk over them and get stuff. Uh, is there anything uh, down here? No? It's kind of a... We're the little corner there. All right, moving on. We have a new enemy here. It's, uh, <laughs> according to the screen, it's Ho Hoa and Ho Hob. It's really, they're called Ho Hos. I, I don't know why. I don't know what the translator was thinking with that. It's pretty stupid. <laughs> well, they're ghosts, so naturally they should be Ho Hos. 
God, those things are a pain in the ass. Let's take out uh, this guy here. There we go. Cure. Can't get to that stuff yet. Gotta find the switch. And it appears that the switch is in there. Being very careful, I don't want to prompt any more annoying... Any more annoying random battles. Can't get in there yet. Yeah, there were three fire things. I wasn't about to freaking waste uh, cures and repairs against those things. So let's go this way and climb this chain. Hey, it's out of the well. Cool. So now I'm inside the uh, estate here on the inner, the inner fortress area here. Anything over here? No. Over here? No. Anything? No. Let's go inside then. This must be the library, I think. So there's got to be some level up book abilities here. Hey, it's that guy. Count Prinky. Oh, he must be talking about the dog. Better go get him. All right. Let's go. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he does have a... Looks like he's wearing a vest or something, but I guess it's a backpack or something with medicine. Who knows? Anyway, uh... Equip the stone, and the dog will follow you. You have to... Oh, I was hitting Y, but you have to talk to him again. Okay, there we go. Okay, so the can't go out there, and I seriously doubt the dog can climb a chain down to the well, so you must have to go around. And the dog's not following me anymore. Oh well. I want to go exploring. Let's see what's over here. Hackers! I knew it. Meanwhile, it's uh, chapter three of his wonderful life. Goofy. <laughs> Look how the guy saw me, but he can't. He's flipping out because he wants to fight me, but he can't. I don't know what they're talking about. They lost me with the whole explanation of the stone and the doll and all that stuff a long time ago. I don't know what it means. Yep, a lot of random battles. Not random battles. But a lot of battles here. Got those guys cleared out. Let's keep going. There's going to be a lot of enemies in here. Maybe it's the next room. Uh, those fire things are not fun. <laughs> Easily the most annoying enemies in the whole game. And those guys are pretty tough too. If if you're if you miss somehow, their their attack does some damage. So the fire guys and the ghosts, the quote unquote ho hos. Let's go explore this side first. See what's over here. We got a new enemy over there. What is that thing? It's a plasmoke. Plus smoke. Wow, that is one nasty attack. There we go. Got him taken care of. Probably want to get a cure or something like that to heal up. <laughs> Drunk got clean. It's, that never gets old. It's okay, like, hey, good for him. He's sobered up. All right, let's go up first. And damn it, I knew that would happen. Oh, right on, level nine, sweet. So now I can make axes, which I think would mean I can create as many. I can save a ton of money with uh, level nine with uh, creating level nine axes. Let's see what this is. Oh, not quite at level 10 yet. So yeah, I think 9, 10, and 11 are in the library here. Yeah. So, uh... So it would be prudent to level up while you're here so you can access those abilities. I'm just kept writing. There you go, folks. 
that's what you're getting into when you play RoboTrack. It's a good game, has has its really good qualities and really bad qualities. I still don't know, barely know what they're talking about, but we'll talk about it next time. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.